Okay, how I made my own jet tub. I purchased one of these, I believe, on Amazon. It was about 70 bucks. And I set it down here on a rack on the floor, just in case water gets down there. I ran the hose up here, and I have it hooked on the handle of the shower door. You buy two pool noodles. You need two pool noodles. I put one this end of the hose into that end of the pool noodle. And on this end of the hose, there's a plug, a rubber plug. And these, yeah, that needs to be changed out. That's kind of dirty looking now. These have to be replaced every once in a while. And then you run just a piece of tubing like, um, I, I've got this covered in duct tape because it punched holes in it and I didn't like the holes being there, but it's just a clear piece of tubing and it only goes to about here on each side. And then you punch holes all through the tubing, like with a screwdriver or a pair of scissors, wherever you'd like them. See how it's getting dirty? I need to replace these. But anyway, then you fill your tub up with water. <laughs> And I'm not taking a bath right now, so I can't show you that. But anyway, I turn this thing on, and it's it's amazing. It really works really well. And then I have my red light clamped and tied over here. So I can have it shining into the tub for me when I'm in there. Um, that's it.